this is part of the training to that you use yourself as your textbook. Uh, it'll come in the synopsis, don't worry about it. Yeah. I shouldn't have even pointed it out. Yeah, you'll have attachment issues. Yeah, it'll come out in the synopsis. You're not. If you really want, I've got this, um, what's the app called? Office Lens. If you want to download an app that turns a photo into a document, Office Lens, and if you, even if you take it and it's warped, it'll turn it into a... Uh, Okay, so just briefly, um, so that lesson is um, coordinating. You got another black pen, Jen? Because if I write in red, uh, you'll freak out. Yeah, you'll freak out, like you just had this like red cordial. You just can't see it. But that that's the reference for that ATM. Um, and if we think about, you know, a nice structure for the lesson, so there's a scan that is to be determined by you when you teach it. And then we start off with a test move, which is uh, thinking the knee to the right. Um, actually, before that, so we set up the starting position starting position is on back uh, right leg cross over left um, and then you start getting these so that's the, that, that's that put this in any order this is I'm just kind of giving you the bones of it so that we don't you don't otherwise I have to give you 20 minutes to write all this down so the overall when you're kind of pairing a lesson that you've done you're thinking about you know you can tackle it sequentially well, what did we do first what do we do next what do we do next what do we do next you can do that or you can kind of go in the bits that you remember and you can fill in the gap but essentially, the overall structure of this lesson is very simple. It's got lots of bits to it, but it's very simple. The, the lesson is about, you know, it has a lot of twists in it. And you twist with your leg, your right leg crossed over the left, you twist to the right. You twist the left leg over the left, uh, left leg over the right, twist to the left. Uh, you twist the upper body opposite using the triangle. You roll the upper body relative to the lower body. Uh, and you do that in the opposite way that you've done it the leg. Uh, you add in this movement, the rocking movement. Um, I've got it out of order already, that's the last thing. Uh, there's the head lift in the in the in the twisted position. Uh, and then they finish off with the rocking movement and that's pretty much all the variation. That's it. You know if you want the, they're the sort that's the sort of basic bones of the lesson. And the order is is kind of important. Um, but again, it's one of these, it's a lesson where you're comparing twisting to the right, twisting to the left, 
So if people are going free range and going all the way through range all the time as a teacher, we encourage them to not do that because they won't feel the distance you're interested in. Is that pretty clear? So again, you're working out where, you know, this gets back to Alison's question yesterday about repetition with variation. These are the parameters, the parameters for variation are within that. That when the right leg is crossed over the left, you're only going to the right and coming back to the middle. Within that, there's variations around sequencing and trajectory and all how far they go, but that's the parameters of variation. We are not an undisciplined approach. Some people think we are very undisciplined. So if we think about those, uh, so it's, this is the starting one on that, and we stay on, the starting position that we're always on, we're always on the back. So you're also thinking about, people mostly are okay on the back, and because your legs are coming up and down, it's probably going to be okay people that don't probably need a lot of respite for being on the back because there's a lot of the drop control. Any other lesson that's on the back relentlessly give people opportunity to get off their back because lying flat on your back uh, is a bit tedious for some people. Other people it's no problem, it's no luck. Who in the room can lie on their back all the time and not have a problem? Yeah. I get really achy in my sacrum, so I have to get off my back. Um, Probably a good thing because means I can't lie in bed all day. Otherwise, I would, if my psychologically, uh, myself would love to sleep all day, but my body doesn't like it. So, just to know that you know that one position uh, for the whole lesson, you might need to take care of. Um, so then, so the variations of the movement, it, it's basically you know they're, 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 they're twisting movements, and the variations are this one. Uh, right leg cross on left and you sink to the right uh, then there's the arm triangles sink to the left then there's the, this might not be the exact word but anyway let's say left leg cross over right sink left um, triangle, sink, right. No, I left them long. Sometimes in the lesson, I reckon you has the knees bend. So you can leave them long or bend. You feel the difference. It's, it's slightly different. You go further with the knees bend. Um, you might feel more if the legs long. Okay, so there's the arm triangles. Then there is the... So then let's say that's one, two, three, four. You do one, stay there, and you do head lift. And then you're going to change the interlacing. And then you do three, stay there, head lift, find the interlacing. And then there's a new thing. I actually does head lift with knees up. You can leave out, but it, you know, it just clarifies the head lift. You could even do that before. And then you do the chest rocking and right versus uh, left on top variations. Uh, then you go back to the reference move at the chest. Chest move, and you can, and then you had to think about the reference move. So actually, it's a pretty straightforward lesson. When you think about it like that, but it's, it feels quite complicated, doesn't it? So there's a lot to notice. There's a lot of embellishing in those things, but that's actually the structure of it. Cross legs going one way, arms going the other, cross legs the other way, arms going the other. So it's essentially the same sequence. Then you add in the head lifts, then you add the chest rocking, bobs your ankles. That's it, perfect. You're cured. No more pain ever. No more suffering ever. Um, my writing gets so bad at the bottom of the thing, doesn't it? So, 
your task today, because I've taken the angst out of trying to remember what was in the lesson, you can have angst about choosing the scan. Uh, so get into the same groups as four, so that you make sure that you rotate around. Everybody gets a go at teaching. So one of you teaches, so you have a different role. The teacher and the observer have a different role. Students, you know, have to cycle through, just be systematic about it. Um, so two on the floor, one being the teacher or the uh, I think you know what it is. Student. Student and the teacher is the observer person. And then the, the teacher who's going to instruct and you've got the two people to watch um, and just work through that. And again, you've got 30 minutes. So I took a lot longer than 30 minutes. Um, you can not take that long. Um, you can even just do it on one side. You know, like the lower legs go one way and the arms go the other, for example. Um, but you've got 30 minutes. Yep. Is that clear enough? Everybody happy? If not happy, uh, sanguine, if accepting. Are you okay? No. 